the Sheikh Rag district is known for its significant African American history, and that history remains alive thanks to local residents and thriving businesses, such as the Sheikh Rag Barbershop. Alonzo Webb, who frequents the shop, has lived in Kentucky for 40 years and says the barbershop is a big part of the district's longtime growth. It is a cornerstone here at 3rd and State Street because this was kind of like the, the center, melting pot of, of this community. 3rd Street, it was more like the 3rd Street district. There was clubs here. Uh, the Nancy's Tea Room. Built in 1898, State Baptist Church is another great example of a cornerstone in the district, which shop owner Chris Page wanted to draw from when he moved to the area in April. I wanted to give a place where African American men and women could bring their children, come and spend their money, uh, get what they pay for, but I also wanted to have a barbershop that they could be proud of. Page says the shop is more than a place to get a haircut but an opportunity for fathers to groom their sons into men. A man bringing his son to the barbershop is a rite of passage in the manhood. So we want to see more African-American men bring their sons down to the barbershop, and that was important to me. So when we see my brother Derek bring his son, that, 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 that's something that we look forward to. Page also values the impact he has on the youth. He tells them he made his share of mistakes, but says they can turn their life around just like he did. I became a business owner. I'm a pastor of a church now. Now, that's not going to be a story for everybody, but it's showing you that you can make some mistakes in life. That's okay, but dust yourself up, get back on the path, hang around the right people. Although Page has established himself in the district, he wants to see more local businesses thrive in the area. I'm encouraging people to bring your African-American-owned businesses back to to an area that's deservedly yours because your ancestors before you built up this area. Reporting in Bowling Green, I'm Matthew White, WNKY News.